45 minutes into our first dive for the day. We got into some, uh, got into bedrock at about four foot. Man, we're getting a lot of gold. I think our first cleanup uh, yesterday, let's see, cleanup from day one, just on the top half of the sluice box yielded about uh, close to a half ounce. We cleaned the top half of the sluice box up today. And, uh, man, she's been pulling pickers out of there all day, so I gotta think it'll be another spectacular cleanup. 40 mile, the south fork of the 40 mile here is gonna start dropping pretty drastically. We're calling for 80 degree weather here. So we're a little concerned about uh, losing this hole. Uh, we're trying to dredge out towards the river channel, but this thing will, will drop by feet uh, overnight. They've gotten some pretty heavy rains in the high country here, and uh, we expect this thing to go down. So, in fact, we might even try to dredge after dinner tonight, just since we're on such good gold right here. Uh, we might come back and uh, go after it again. Actually, Chan is dredging with a six-inch uh, keen. Nice, really nice dredge. It's got a uh, electric start on it. It's running an eight eight horsepower Honda with a three-stage sluice box. Uh, very nice. Um, you can see the tailing piles there, uh, the one to the right. That was our tailing pile from the first day as we just started to snort out the hole. So we're doing pretty good. As you look down the canyon there, uh, down around that bend, uh, that's where uh, Dakota Race has got the uh, eight-inch dredge set up. So they're trying to get in the middle of the river as it starts to clear up a little bit and drop. Actually this river is, uh, you know, has kind of this iron color to it uh, most of the time, but it's starting to clear a bit. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue to work this hole today and try to drive it out. As you look up river here, you can see uh, Dragon Bob working with Cliff. Dragon Bob looks like he's taking it easy there. He's a great guy, 69 years old going to be uh, going into chicken tomorrow to meet a buddy from Dawson for uh, 4th of July. So he's going to miss a day of training or dredging. His partner, uh, Cliff, who's in the water right now, is uh, 76 years old. And uh, he looks like he could kick about anybody's ass here on the river. Got a couple folks. Uh, the dude up there uh, with the white uh, white on his knees, that's, uh, that's the camp host. That's Kurt. He's from Wisconsin. He's running the camp for, uh, for Gold Fever Prospecting. Great guy getting in the water today for the first time with, with his six inch. And then up at the far end, we got uh, Kamiko and Derek. Uh, Derek is brand new to prospecting. This is their very first time. Haven't even ran a gold camp before, but in any event, uh, they've got quite the hole going up there. And he hit bedrock at about uh, five and a half foot. I think we hit our bedrock here quite a bit earlier. And actually, we're producing more gold out of this hole than, uh, yeah, it's just amazing, right, than uh, any of these other guys on the river. Looks like Jan is coming up here for a little air. Uh, looks like her goggles are clogged up. Hard work down there dredging. Much easier than high banking, though. But in any event, she's a, she's a freaking rock star. Everybody's impressed with, uh, with Jana and her tenacity and the fact that she can uh, move rocks with any of these guys up here. So they think, uh, think I married up pretty good. None of these guys' wives uh, want to come out here and uh, move shit with them. But uh, you know, we're having a great time. The weather is just fabulous. Yeah, we had uh, first first couple days here were just so so, caused the river to be high. It's uh, like I said, it's gonna be expected to drop, uh, start dropping here uh, pretty quick over the next few days, and uh, we'll have to move the dredge out. One one of our thoughts is that um, you know if we continue to get really good gold here, what we might do is. Uh, as the river drops down, uh, we'll be able to sample it a little better with pans. Uh, then maybe set up a high banker and, and high bank for a day or two, uh, just because you know we're on the goal. We don't know how far we're going to be able to follow it. It's pretty tough to sample with the dredge, but um, 
in any event, um, we'll see where we're at. I, I was down for about, uh, I dove for about three and a half hours this morning. Jan will be in there for a couple hours. I'll probably have one more dive in me today. You see, uh, Jan is little processing station over there where she's been processing the gold. And, uh, see another tailing pile up here behind where these guys were working that's where we set up the first day we were a little disappointed with the gold up there um, it almost felt like we were in somebody's tailing piles the interesting thing about this river though is that it freezes uh, right to the bottom actually this river is not very deep and in fact uh, if there wasn't such a strong current on it you could probably wade across it all the way but as this thing freezes all the way to the bottom, what will happen is that these uh, boulders and stones will get caught in the bottom of the ice. And as, uh, as, as spring thaw comes and starts the, uh, the breakup, the boulders will tumble. So it's always moving the gold around. So uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And again, I think we just stumbled onto a really nice spot here. As you look up to that drainage behind us, it's a place called Mueller Creek. And... Uh, Pretty, pretty famous little drainage here, uh, right behind the, uh, right behind where we're dredging here. Uh, they had been running a trommel, and in fact, a little further down, you could see where they were running uh, big trommels, uh, just digging back into the hillside. So we stumbled on some decent gold here. We'll see if we can uh, keep it up. Had some really good light. Actually, uh, I think this is the first time Jan and I have both been on bedrock uh, like this. It's not, uh, it's not a really smooth bedrock like we're used to in the West. It's, a, it's kind of a chunky, uh, chunky, slate-ish kind of bedrock that, uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's fractured, it's decomposing, and you can, uh, you know, you break it up in pieces. I think we're going to try to break up about the first foot and a half, and we'll... Uh, you know your gold's going to be settling down in that in that stuff, and that's where you're going to have the opportunity to pick up some bigger nuggets. Now the cleanups that Jana were doing earlier, uh, you know, man, she was getting a lot of gold in uh, each and every pan as she was classifying it down, and, and in fact, um, a lot of gold about sesame seed size. She's even had you know some really nice. Uh, she had about four nice pickers out of uh, just the top box of top part of the sluice box. This keen sluice box actually has three pieces to it. There's three separate uh, sluices in it. And uh, when I say we clean up just the top box, the front part of this uh, has, uh, you know, we're probably going to catch about 60% of the gold. Uh, you know, that's the part that we clean up. As materials flowing through the dredge, there's, there's actually a sluice box on the bottom where your really fine stuff will drop. And then, of course, you have some uh, heavier ripples uh, towards the back end that will pick up any any big uh, pickers. Um, yeah, so this is a this is a beast of a dredge. This size of dredge is actually against the law in Idaho. This is a six-inch dredge. Uh, we can run up to five inches in Idaho, but uh, same same fundamental design is uh, as the dredge the four inch keen that we have uh, this head does have an electric star on it which was kind of nice but the sluice box is the same it's just uh, I believe an extra two inches wider um, than the, the, the four inch dredge that we have in any event you gotta like it we're having a great time it looks like cliffs come out of the water there a little bit He's taking a break. We got Dragon Bob down there. Uh, they just started on that hole. They moved their dredge up from, uh, from down below today. So we'll see uh, we'll see how they do. This is actually Cliff's third time up here. He's uh, like I say, he's from he's from Placerville, California, and he's just a great guy. He's in excellent shape. And he'll be here for a full month. In any event, that's where we're at today, and we will catch up with you later. Thanks, guys.